All right, it is Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019, at 11.30 a.m. All right, let's take a look at these headlines real quick. Thousands of bones discovered in Vatican crypt in search for missing teenager. Thousands of bones have been unearthed in two ossuaries discovered in the Vatican City as part of ongoing search for clues into the disappearance of a 15-year-old girl more than three decades ago. Emanuela Orlandi, who was the daughter of a prominent Vatican employee and lived with the walls of the Holy City, disappeared during the summer of 1983 while on her way home from a music lesson in central Rome. The mystery surrounding Ordani's disappearance gripped Italians for more than three decades and inspired conspiracy theories involving everyone from mobsters to international terrorists and the highest echelons of the Vatican. Yeah, it's a very big um, conspiracy theory that supposedly the Vatican uh, like sacrifices children and like kills people and does like a lot of um, like abuses towards nuns and like a whole bunch of stuff. But let's continue on with the story. Interest in the case was renewed in the summer last year when the Orlandi family received an anonymous tip hinting that Emanuela's remains may be located in the tombs of Princess Sophie von Henlo and Princess Charlotte Frederica of Mecklenburg at the Teutonic Cemetery. The family has received an image of a sculpture and instruction to look where the angel is pointing and led them to the Teutonic Cemetery, which is located at adjacent to the uh, Grand St. Peter's Basilica and is typically reserved for the brulees of German-speaking Catholics. After the Vatican agreed for forensic investigators to open the tombs on July 11th, no human remains nor traces of coffins were found. The Vatican indicated that the remains of the princesses may have been removed during the renovation work on the cemetery and surrounding buildings in the 1960s and 70s. Nevertheless, two ossuaries, chambers, in which bones of the dead are stored, were uncovered during the investigation beneath the floor of an area inside the Teutonic College. Investigators subsequently discovered thousands of bones in the chambers, which are believed to correspond to dozens of people, according to Giorgio Portera, a geneticist appointed by the Orlandi family. DNA analysis will now take place in, in, on each of the set remains, but Vatican spokesman Alessandro Giossi said the precise data will have to wait Morphically evaluation, uh, morphically uh, evaluations next next Saturday. It must be considered that many of the bones being dated are shattered, and therefore this in increases the number present. Many of them, which are small, this means that there may be more fragments fragments of some of the bone structure. While origins of the bones remain unknown, Emanuela's brother, Pietro Orlandi, 60, said the investigation into the ossuaries has been a great satisfaction. In the ossuaries, there shouldn't be any recent bones. So if they are, even if it's not Emanuela Orlandi, it will be a problem for the Vatican, he told CNN. There are hundreds, thousands of bones, and now the Vatican is classifying them by age and will investigate the more recent ones. So if there are bones that are recent and they're just buried there, the Vatican will have major problems in their hands. Here's a, another article on the um, study of the bones. It says here, forensic experts study thousands of bones found in the Vatican ossuaries. So there are possibility of thousands of bones being researched to see if they are actually recent victims. And if they are, the Vatican is in a lot of trouble. Because that could mean that the conspiracy theories that people have been having for many years could actually be true. That the Vatican has uh, like people just killing uh, and sacrifices and a lot of bad stuff going on. Hopefully that isn't true, but if it is, God have mercy on them. Alright, next. South Korea fires warning shots at Russian military aircraft.
South Korea says its jets fired warning shots at a Russian surveillance plane that entered the airspace on Tuesday. Officials said the plane twice violated the airspace over the disputed Doko Takashima Islands, which are occupied by South Korea, but also claimed by Japan. South Korea's Ministry of Defense said it scrambled fighter jets in response and fired 360 machine gun rounds. Russia has denied violating the country's airspace. Moscow said two of its bombers carried and planned a drill over neutral waters and denied any warning shots were fired by South Korean jets. This is the first incident of its kind between Russia and South Korea. Yeah, Russia has been uh, buzzing a lot of uh, American, uh, like Alaska region and things like that. They tend to do that. So if they buzz the South Korean area, um, I would not be surprised. All right, next. NASA asteroid alert as three 170-foot space rocks to skim past the Earth on Wednesday. NASA is expecting three asteroids to make close approach towards the Earth on Wednesday this week. The largest of the asteroids could be up to 394 feet wide and is traveling at 42,840 miles per hour. The asteroid is called 2019 OD, but there is no need to panic about it because it is likely to pass Earth on July 24th from 219,375 miles away. The figure may seem pretty high, but in terms of flying space objects, the, object, uh, the approach of Earth is fairly a close distance. The second asteroid to approach on Wednesday is called 2015 HM10 and could be up to 361 feet wide. 2015 HM10 is traveling at 21,240 miles per hour, but should be just under 3 million miles away when it passes us. The third and final asteroid to approach the Earth on Wednesday will be 2019 OE, which will be 5,097,706 oh, uh, miles away. It will be traveling the slowest out of the group of space rocks with a speed of 20,160 miles per hour and is the smallest at its, uh, its largest possible size is, ex is predicted at 171 meters wide. The biggest asteroid should be passing us at 1431 BST with 2015 HM10 passing earlier at 7 a.m. and 2019 whizzing past later at around 1536. NASA keeps an eye on the objects and will be coming close to Earth but stresses that a close passage astronomically can be very far away in human terms. So I believe it is uh, less than a lunar distance away. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more. And pray for um, the, hopefully that Vatican thing is not actually murders happening. Because if it's true, that conspiracy theory could be checked off the box. Meaning that it actually could be true. So let's pray for that. See you guys next time. God bless you guys.